A new video released in a fatal Georgia shooting that has drawn national attention. Police body worn camera footage of the moments after Ahmad Arbery was shot to death on a suburban street. The Brunswick man who relatives say was out for a jog was killed after three men chased him through their neighborhood in trucks trying to stop him. Those three men have all pleaded not guilty to the charges they are facing in connection with Arbery's death. First Coast News reporter Troy Kless has been going through all this video and he says it offers some new insights and in some cases really a, a slightly different version of events than what we have heard before as we've been covering the story extensively. Troy? Yeah, that's right, Jeannie. Now, one of the main questions in this case has been the role of one of three suspects, William Roddy Bryan. Now, he videotaped the killing and later told police that he was simply a bystander. But the body worn camera includes his statement to police at the scene of the crime in which he said that he was trying to corner Ahmad Arbery. On February 23rd, Glen County police responding to the shooting death of Ahmad Arbery. Greg McMichael told police that day he thought Arbery was a man they caught on camera breaking into homes. And so I grabbed my Proof 7 Magnum. It's an old Glen County PD issue, by the way. We pull up beside him and say, hey, stop, stop, we want to talk to you. And he just keeps on running. McMichael and his son Travis chased Arbery through Satilla Shores and got the help of William Roddy Bryan. You're a passerby coming through? Nah, not necessarily. Brian would later explain how he got involved in the chase and what he did. That I pulled out of my driveway, was going to try to block him. Should we have been chasing him? I don't know. One time when I cornered him up over here, he was trying to get in my truck. Travis McMichael seems shaken, telling police Arbery attacked him. Everything's got to be done right. I know. I, 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 okay. I want it done right. <laughs> I got you. So. This just doesn't look good. I mean, it's... Just shot me. Greg McMichael tried calling his former boss, Brunswick District Attorney Jackie Johnson, to ask for help. You know, I was chief investigator with the DA's office for okay. 23 years, so I know what you got to do. None of the men were arrested until after the video of the killing went public. Now, another new piece of evidence that we also received today is this coded letter that you see here. So, according to prosecutors, this was a coded letter that was sent from Greg McMichael while he was in jail to a man that actually testified on behalf of the McMichaels requesting the judge give them a bond. Now the judge denied them bond and also that same man is who prosecutors say exchanged racist text messages with Travis McMichael. Now again, all three men maintain their innocence and have pleaded not guilty to the charges that they are facing and they remain in jail with no bond. You can find this and more on this developing story on our website, firstcoastnews.com. We're live in Brunswick, Troy Kless, First Coast News on your side.